Honestly, there isn't much he can do. If he could build a time machine and have the Blackfish marry one of Lord Walder's daughters, that might have helped, but overall, there really wasn't anything else he could do. I think one thing that too many fans get the impression of particularly thanks to the show, is that the Red Wedding was motivated strictly for revenge. It wasn't, and there's two major reasons why the wedding was able to work out. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and also click on the notification bell to remain updated. Bran and Rickon were dead, Sansa is married to Tyrion, and Arya is still a prisoner, or missing and presumed dead. This basically leaves Rob as the only Stark really left. With him dead, there's nobody for the North and Riverlands to rally behind against the Lannisters, Boltons, or Freys. This is why the Red Wedding initially as an idea from Tywin was just an assassination with one crossbow men hidden among the singers who would kill Rob, and it was Walder and Roose who turned it into a massacre. The Stark forces were already depleted. Rob brought east with him 3.5k men, all mounted, while Roose brought 3.5k men who were mounted and another 500 men who were mounted. Now, Roose had made the option of betraying Rob a possibility from the very start, when Rob gave him command of the infantry, a host of 17k. At every battle Bolton men were held in the rear, while men from other houses were sent forth. Additionally, with the battles of Duskendale and the Battle of the Mummers Ford, Roos helped eliminate major numbers and was able to do things like leave 400 men behind to guard the crossing at the Mummers Ford against the mountain. At that point, Roos's men were almost entirely Bolton with some mixed in from other houses like the Karstarks. So when we consider the Red Wedding, we should remember that no more than like 5k men were killed and the number is closer to around 3k. This becomes significant, as the Red Wedding wasn't solely for revenge. A big part of it was opportunism. Rob didn't seem likely to win, and Tywin had offered Roos and Walder some pretty nice deals in return for betraying him. And so it's entirely possible the Red Wedding still happens, though if there is one bonus for Rob, it's that he stands a higher chance of survival since he's married to Roslyn, and so Walder might not have him killed. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to like this video and drop comments, and most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.